Finally, the big reveal, the 2023 Tranquility Ford Transit all-wheel drive. Now you may be thinking, wait a minute, Steve, that, that doesn't look like the Tranquility that I know and love, and you are correct. We have two new flavors of uh, camper vans here in the Tranquility. So we have the Mercedes and we have the Ford Transit, and there are going to be some differences, and it all depends on how you want to use them. Now you can go through the studies and there are in the research and there are a number of different types of campers. There are happy campers in the casual camper and there are adventure seekers and there's the family campers. So depending on what you want to do, let's break down some of the differences here between the Mercedes Tranquility and the Ford. First, we're gonna start with your engine specs because the big difference here is between gas and diesel. Now that Sprinter is a three liter V6 that is a diesel engine that is going to kick out 188 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque. Getting you over into the Ford Transit, this is going to be that 3.6 liter EcoBoost V6. This is a beast. 310 horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque. It is going to be all-wheel drive. And there are quite a few differences between the way a four-wheel drive system works and the way an all-wheel drive system works. I'm not going to get into it here. But as you can see from those specs and just the stance alone of the Benz, it's, it's got the beefy KO2 tires on there. You have, you know, the factory lift. It's got a, a it does. It's going to have a better approach, break over and departure angle. But maybe you're not going to go mudding maybe you are just going to have a family adventure. Or maybe you're gonna go on a ski trip and you just want sure-footed stability. You don't wanna step up into a monster truck, if you will. I love driving the Benz, don't get me wrong. I think it's incredibly capable. I also love driving the 19 PT. The other uh, advantage you get in the 19 PT is the wheelbase is going to be four inches longer, 148 compared to 144. You do get 3,500 pound hitch out back on both. So it all depends on how you want to use your tranquility. And I love having the options out there. And as we get inside, you'll see that the floor plan is the familiar layout that you know and love. The outside features, pretty similar. So what do you say we head up front and then we'll walk all the way around and show you how to use your Tranquility all-wheel drive. So we talked about what was under the hood and when we put the hammer down, we'll get more into it and all of the safety features. But one thing I want to point out when we talk about safety features is you have a camera up front and there are sensors all around the coach and we'll point them out as we walk all the way around and that is going to give you a phenomenal 360 degree view when you are backing into a spot and we'll show that to you when we go over the infotainment center just an incredible drive on this transit chassis you have your fog lights down below you have your rain sensing windshield wipers you have your remote mirrors and if you need to push those in you can they have the integrated turn signal into them there are side view cameras. We talked about the sensors. These are going to be part of that whole 360 system. Now, another difference between this and the Mercedes, and it's really obvious, we talked about a lot of the differences between the four wheel drive and the all wheel drive. This doesn't have the big beefy tires on it. You do have 16 inch Continental tires on here as well on these cool looking blacked out steel wheels. Kind of reminds me of Darth Vader's helmet. Very tough looking, uh, but very easy to drive. As we work our way down, one tip that I want to show you here on the PT. Uh, we'll talk about spinning these chairs around. Do it when this door is open. You just turn this lever here and both the passenger and driver's seat will turn around and becomes part of your living area. We do have the air conditioner on. Oh, it feels so nice in there. Uh, yellow sticker is right here. This is your occupant and cargo carrying capacity. 1,767 pounds. Can you believe that in this van? You can carry everything with you. And this van is 19 feet, eight inches long. And it is just a great driving machine. Let's open up our door here because we have all kinds of goodness to talk about here. I, I do like this flip out table. You can sit out here, you can get some drinks. Orange whip, orange whip, orange whip, three orange whips. 
On your entryway, a couple of very important switches. Right here is your battery disconnect switch. Turn this on when you are heading out. This turns on all the 12 volt systems in your motorhome. When you want a little more than that, take this cover off. Master Volt, this. We even have it labeled for you. Look at this. The reliable battery system. This baby is lithium. This is going to give you 500 continuous amp hours of battery and you control a lot of it right from here. When we get around back, we'll show you how to turn the entire system on and we'll talk about some specs and some features. We'll talk about the inverter and we'll talk about the additional underhood generator here. But from this screen right here, you can check your house battery. How much time is left on that? You can check the current draw from your house battery through the uh, amperage there. The remaining time left on your house battery. We have the AC fired up right now and you can also check the voltage in your house battery. Now we set this at the factory in what we think is going to be the most beneficial for you, but you can go through and customize it once you get used to the system to see how you're gonna use it and change up the screen a little bit here. As we work our way down, I am going to close this because there are a few features I do wanna talk about. You have the nice, nice running boards like uh, you have on the bigger Mercedes. You have your exterior propane connection on this as well. We'll fire up the propane when we get to the other side. Hook your grill up to that propane connection, maybe a portable fire pit, whatever you want to do, and then put out the yawning. You can do that through Rapid Camp Plus. You can hook it up to your phone, and we'll talk all about it when we get inside. All you have to do is simply hit the extend button. One touch, this entire awning will come out. The legs are actually tucked inside up top. So when this is all the way out, what you'll do is you will take and pop those out and you will set those down at your campsite. You have a nice LED strip. When you are ready to put the awning in, you're going to lift the legs up and then you're going to tuck them back into the storage up here. And then all you have to do is hit the retract button. We'll wait for this to come all the way out. It's a big awning, I'm telling you what. You're gonna get plenty of shade with this. It is out, it's gonna set itself a little bit, tighten up, and then you can adjust the pitch on this with the legs. Just hit retract and you can see this will go right back in, it will tuck itself away, and it is ready until the next time you use it. One of the nice things about the Tranquility, a lot of people ask about ventilation and we will show you more when we go inside, but yes, you do have windows you can open here. As you want ventilation, there is a screen, a nice big screen for the side door over here. You also have a screen for the back. Just nice, this is what outdoor living is all about. A sensor right here, we talked about those 360 sensors. You're gonna see them all over. When you have your reliable battery system on, you can go ahead and hook some, make your own orange whips right here. Plug in the blender right there, make the orange whips right there with a couple of uh, 110 outlets. Want to bring your bike? This is where you're going to do that. This is so easy to use and it's such a great feature to have, right? So just holds up with these straps. You put this down, you put your bike up in here, you adjust this to the spoke, you strap it down, pull these down, hook this up to the frame, lock it down. You are off. Real easy to take off if you want to. A couple of clips, you can pull the whole thing off and then you don't have to have the bike rack back there. But having a bike rack is a great way to just explore new paths. And you know, when you're parked in town, you can drive around the town. And I love having that bike rack with us. Out back, so many things to talk about. Now you can put that screen right back here, keep the doors open, let that breeze through. There are also privacy shades for you during the nighttime. We do have a quick connect hose here, so if you want to take and rinse off those mountain bikes, you would plug that in here, make sure that your water pump is on. We'll show you how to do that when we hit up Rapid Camp Plus. But back here, ooh, you ready to talk reliable battery system because this is where all the goodies are. All right, over here, this is how you turn the entire system on with this yellow switch. Make sure it is on in order to use it. Right over here, this is going to be our battery. It is a 400 amp hour battery. As I said, it is 500 amps of continuous power. You also have your inverter. It's a 3000 watt pure sine inverter. You have a 160 amp charger. And what's great is this is going to work on 15 amp shore power, which means you can plug this into an outlet at home, which is great when you are storing it for a while and you wanna keep the juice flowing into that battery. Couple of other things I wanna talk about with the reliable system because you're gonna love having this on board. First, I wanna talk about your life cycles, okay? A lot of people ask, well, it's lithium, how long am I gonna get out of this? 
How about 3,500 cycles? I talked to the Master Volt folks, and here's what they told me. This just blew my mind. You can take this system right here, go from 100% down to zero, charge it back up, 100% down to zero, charge it back up again. You can do that twice a day, every day, for eight years. And that's completely draining it. That is unbelievably impressive. You're probably not going to use it that way, which means you'll probably get a lot more cycles, but that is talking about the life cycles. You can power everything in your coach when this is on, and you are going to want this on. This is going to give you power to your air conditioner, power to your microwave. All of your non-12 volt systems, all your 110 volt systems are going to be powered by your reliable battery system. In order to keep this thing charged, a couple of ways you can do that under hood generator. It's a secondary alternator. That is going to give that battery juice. It is also going to charge when you are plugged into shore power. But here are a couple of tips for you when you are using this. You want to make sure that you keep it above 20%. When it gets to 20%, go ahead and charge it. Now, if you do plug it into shore power, you're looking at two to three hours before that battery is fully charged. Now, when it is charging, this is cool. The inverter does not have to be on, either through the shore power or when you're driving down the street. In fact, you can have that battery disconnect switch in the off position if you are plugged into shore power, and so you simply want to charge the batteries. You can do it that way. We also get a lot of questions about winterizing this system, and it's really easy to do if you can't stay plugged into shore power. What you want to do is charge those batteries to 100%, Turn off the safety relay, that's the yellow switch we showed you back here, and then you are going to be good for up to three months and 13 below. So every three months, you're gonna go back out, check those batteries, bring them back up to 100%, and then you are going to be good for another three months, and that should take care of all your storage before you're out enjoying your camper van again. And there's one more way you can keep these batteries topped off. That has everything to do with the 190 watts of solar charging up top. On the roof, that beautiful solar panel when you are parked in full sun, you're kicking in about nine amps of charging. That's gonna keep those batteries fresh for you when you're not using them. Or when you're inside, you just wanna turn on a couple of 12 volt lights. So that is the reliable system on your tranquility. You're gonna love having it on board. A lot of other great features too. So let's walk around the other side and show you what else this camper van has in store for your adventures. Over on the driver's side, I like to call this the business end of your tranquility. Down below, this is going to be your propane tank. When you want to use any of your propane, you want to make sure that the red light is on and your tank is full. We'll show you how to check those levels when you are inside using Rapid Cam Plus. Right over here is your sewer hose. Now, because this has a cassette toilet, you're only going to have a gray tank, and it's nice that it stores right inside. We're going to show you how to hook uh, all this stuff up as we work our way down. Now, this is heated by the Truma Eco Combi. We'll talk about that when we go inside. This is the exhaust for it right here. This is going to provide you hot water and is going to provide you heat. Let's talk about our gray tank. This is going to be from your shower, and this is going to be from your sink. But right down here is where you're going to hook that up. All you have to do is just take, unscrew the... Uh, cap there and then you just thread this on you can go ahead and wear gloves and then you put this into your drain and you pull the handle and all of the gray water will come out there's your low point drain we do have a cassette toilet 4.75 or four and three quarters gallon all you have to do is lift the blue handle it will come out and when you're ready to what's nice is it's like a little suitcase right not something I'd want to be walking through the airport with. I think you'd get stopped by TSA. But you go ahead and you roll this to a dump station or a rest stop or wherever you want to dump it. And this is going to be your dump spout. And you screw the cap off. There is a vent button right here. And then you hold the vent down. And then you go ahead and you dump it. And you can clean your float. And there's also a, a vent over there. So that is how you use this real easy. A lot of people love the cassette toilet. And then when you're done, Put it in there, you lock it up until your next adventure with the cassette toilet. If you want to have an adventure with it, that's entirely up to you, but this is an adventure van. Let's talk a little water. You are going to need water, right? You're going to want to shower. You're going to want to flush the toilet. A couple of ways to get water. You can hook up to the city fill real easy. You want to hose just like this, and all you have to do is go ahead and connect it to that end, and then you run this over to your campsite, and you turn on the water you're good to go. 
This is going to be your fresh water tank here. You do have 19 gallons of fresh water and you have a 20 gallon gray tank, by the way. But all you have to do is take and unscrew that and you would take this hose, if that's run over to wherever you're getting your fresh water and you put that in here, there's a little vent when it is full, it'll trickle out and you know your fresh water tank is fully loaded and ready to rock and roll. Want more solar than the 190 watts on board? You can plug in additional panels right here, set them up right in the sun on a day like today. You want cable? You can do that. It's just coax like this. Hook it up to your campsite. You screw that right into here. And now you're watching all of your favorite cable shows. This is 30 amp shore power here. Again, this will charge the reliable battery system in about two to three hours. This is going to be a 30 amp coach. You just put it in and you lock it right into place. You plug that in over at the campsite. Make sure the breakers are off. Plug in, turn the breakers on. Boom! You are powered up. I think you're ready to fill this tank up and hit the road for our next adventure. 31 gallon gas tank. You fill it up right here so it's real easy to remember what side it is on. It's on your side as the driver. Inside all kinds of gadgets and gizmos including a light switch for your light bar up top. Turn it on and you will just light up the path. Now there is a cover for it. We have it off and let me show you how you can take that cover off love this magnetic ladder. It collapses down. You can put it anywhere you want on the van if you need to connect to the wine guard. We'll talk about that when we go inside. It has a magnet on it. You can put it anywhere. So let's say you wanted to get right up here for the light bar. You'd go ahead and you would stick that right there and you would climb right up and you would take the cover off the light bar when you are ready to use it. Very strong magnets, by the way. You gotta give it a good tug. And that stores right in the back, at least the magnet does. The leg store inside behind the driver's seat. There's so much to talk about inside this Tranquility all-wheel drive. You're going to love driving it. You're going to love living in it. So let's wrap up here, head around, and check out all the goodies inside. Now we got everything hooked up on the outside. Let's go through the inside because you want to have a number of items set up and ready to go. So when you are out there adventuring, your camper van is ready for it and you come back. So we're gonna head inside. We talked a little bit about rapid camp on the remote through the phone, what you can do. But let's take a look at this main panel here because this is just a great system to have. So as we run down here, first I wanna point out you do have the cloud. You create a BM Pro cloud account and then from anywhere in the world, as long as you have Wi-Fi and your camper van, has Wi-Fi, you can control your lights and your climate from anywhere. So if you are out past dark, maybe your, your adventure is running a little late, all you have to do is just log in and you can turn on the lights, you can adjust the climate. Maybe it got a little colder, a little warmer than you thought, you can adjust the climate from anywhere. I love having that feature. Working down the side of the buttons here, on the home screen, you can see your tank levels and these are real quick access buttons to your lights, your climate, your water pump. We talked a little bit about your water pump and again, another way to access your climate. So some quick shortcuts there. The next button down allows you to turn on your water pump, allows you to turn on your tank heater, and you can check the levels on your tank. In this particular van right now, we have two thirds of our fresh water and an empty gray tank. And now you know how to empty that gray tank. Next level uh, button down, it's like a little spinny circle. That is for the awning. And then we go down to our climate. You can control your AC from here because your heat is going to be controlled through the Truma Eco Combi. We showed you the exhaust. We're gonna walk through how to work that when we're done here with Rapid Camp. You do have controls for your lights everywhere on the motorhome. You can dim the lights as well, which is a great feature. And then you can check uh, your coat, your, your house battery, your chassis battery, how much propane. And we talked about that 190 watts of solar. You can monitor it right from here again. If you don't have access to this main panel because you're out, pull it right up there on your phone. It's a great way to have it. And you even have, it keeps the history for you. You can kind of keep track of your solar. And then down below, you do have two vents in here. You have a vent in the bathroom. We'll show you that when we get inside of the wet bath here. And there is one midship by the AC. It's a roof mounted AC. And what's nice about this uh, right here is you have a couple ways to control that depending on what you're, if you're back here lounging, you can just take and be an air hog and shut the vents here like this and open these and just get all the cold air. Or if you wanna be nice and share, you shut the, these vents, then you open these vents and then it will blow right out this way and it completely cools down the coach in no time flat. 
amazing air conditioner. Tom and I were out in here shooting and it was 90 some degrees. We stayed nice and cool. Now, the other thing I wanna talk about right up above is your Truma Eco Combi. And what you do here, and this is a great way to get, well, gosh, I mean, there's so many ways to customize this. So let's just walk through some of the menus here. You have a little flashy camper here on, see that right there? That is how you're going to take and control the temperature in your motorhome. You have off and then you can set it between 40 and you can crank that all the way up to 86 degrees. That, that would be roasted in here, 86 degrees. And then you can go over a knob and that is for your hot water. It's the little thermostat. Now you have a few modes here for your water. When you press that, you can choose your eco okay so that is going to be a hundred and four degrees you want to if you want a quick shower you go ahead and you hit that now if you want hot that's going to be 140 degrees and then if you turn it to boost 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 that hot water that's 144 degrees that's where you're going to want to take your showers out but take note when you turn it to boost and you want that hot water that's going to turn off the fan through your Truma Eco Combi down below that circulates the air because you can turn on that and get some airflow going through here uh, as well. The little arrow goes right back to the home screen. The other feature that I really like about this because I talked about it being customizable, well, the little fan is your fans and you can choose high, you can choose off. Uh, and then there's a little clock down in the bottom left hand corner. What's really cool about this feature is you can take and set timers on this. So let's say you know that you need to be in the shower at 7 a.m. You can set this timer so you have boost hot water at 7 a.m. You can also set uh, different climates on here. So if you know you're gonna be gone, you want a little cooler, you can go ahead and decrease the heat when you're out doing some cold weather camping in this. Uh, you have some settings, some gears as well, a little, little wrench icon, you can change the language and a couple other things. One of the other questions that we get here is about winterizing it and it's real easy to do you don't have to use compressed air you you drain the tank there's a couple of switches in here um i'll show you right under this seat back here that is where the truma eco combi is but uh really easy to do uh you just turn off your water pump your your, your city water and then you just pull the low point drain we have a complete video walkthrough on how to winterize it but it's a great system to have it is the truma eco combi Let's talk about our kitchen. Since we're standing here at our kitchen, look at all the room I have in here. See, six foot seven inches of headspace in here. Solid surface counters. You have a nice sink here. You can turn this around and fill up cups from the outside. You do have, if you want a little more counter room, you have this nice sink cover here. You have your two burner gas cooktop, real easy to light as well. Uh, so a nice kitchen here. Yeah, so this fan you can completely cook in anything you want because over here you have your microwave. So you have a microwave here, you have your 12 volt fridge here, single door fridge, you have a little uh, freezer right up here. So anything you could want. You have to remember this is a van. It's amazing how this happens because we get this in as an empty shell of a van. And then our team takes, and we have a crew that puts in the floor, and a crew that puts in the insulation, a crew that puts in the walls, crew that runs the plumbing and puts in the cabinets. They do everything. They take it from just an empty van and build it into this amazing way to see the world, really. And with this all-wheel drive chassis, you can go anywhere in any climate and have some amazing adventures. And you can bring all your stuff with you. I wanna take a look at all of the cabinet space that we have in here. Now these are Technoform Euro style cabinets. Uh, you have two colors, uh, Radiant Silver, which is what we are in right now. This is the Radiant Silver. And the other color is called Metallic Gray. It's a little darker, very nice look. What's nice about these Technoform cabinets is these are Italian made. The company was founded in 1965 and they're known for the marine and the RV industry. So these cabinets are very, very lightweight. I love the curvature of them. They're also going to be resistant to uh, humidity and they are going to hold up for a very, very long time. There is a look at your cabinet colors, but I mean, just look at, at the room that we have in here. And while we have all of these open, 
I mean, okay, we talked about window blind, window shades for the back here. We have that. That's uh, we just have those kept here for right now. Uh, over here, we have an HDMI port if you want to watch a little TV. We have 110. What's great about this is if you have maybe a streaming device, maybe you have a gaming console, or maybe your gaming console is your streaming device. You plug that right into here. You can watch all of your favorite shows right back here. This is on, this is on a swivel here. And if you would like to be out and be able to stream, it's really easy to do because this van is set to go with uh, the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. So it is anywhere you go, you can have internet while you're on the road. And what's great about this is you can pick a data plan through WineGuard or your favorite carrier. That's right. All you have to do is insert a SIM card and now you have Wi-Fi wherever you are. And maybe you're not into TV, okay? Maybe you're like, I'm never gonna watch the TV, but I'm gonna use this as a remote workstation. Uh, phones and laptops are actually the most common tech that people take with them. So if you wanna FaceTime, you wanna watch a, a show online, you can do that right through there. So a great way to have you. If you do wanna watch TV though, we showed you where to plug in the cable, a little cable outlet here. Uh, and this is how you choose between your local stations and the cable when uh, the light is on or off. That will help you determine whether or not you're programming in your cable channels or if you are doing the local TV. A lot of cabinet space up here, more USB charging ports. You do have some reading lights on each side because this is more than a couch. This makes into a bed one, okay? So you can go ahead and quickly fold this. This is a little jackknife. This flips out, folds down, and then you slide the cushions over and now you have a place for two. So this is really going to be a nice couples coach. If you two of you want to get away and uh, just explore some new towns, you can park it in that town, in the spots, in the lots, and enjoy. Now, the sofa area back here, outside of being a bed, look at that, you have outlets up here, so you can really keep everything charged. Oh, I do want to point out behind uh, the TV real quick that you do have a uh, 12 volt and more USB charge. There's a little uh, 12 volt right here, so if you have a, a CPAP machine. Um, we do have three seatbelts back here. So I want you to think of this. I know we just talked about all sleeps too, but you have seatbelts for three and we talked about different types of campers. Well, maybe you are a family camper, all right? And you have uh, some kids you want to explore. This is a great way to go see new places. Take a day trip. You know, you head out early in the morning and you explore, you can come back, you can cook meals. There's those seatbelts we're talking about and you can eat all those meals in here because yes, there is a table that goes, see the little base right down there? That is for the pedestal leg. That is gonna be stored up front and then you put that in place, you screw it down, you put the tabletop on and there you go. You have a nice place to eat a meal or, or do a little work. That air conditioner is right above you so you will stay cool. While I'm back here, I talked a little bit about ventilation. I do wanna show you uh, the windows here that they do open. All this is just two little, Two little tabs, you squeeze those, you pull, and what's nice is there's a screen right here. So you're gonna get really a lot of ventilation through the window on this side. There's a window on the other side we have open in this video here. Then you can put the screens up, you can keep the critters out, the bugs out, and get some nice ventilation here if you don't want to use the AC. So a lot of great features back here. You do have roller shades down here too to keep the light out if that is just coming in or if you are spending, spending the night back here. As we work our way up, another great storage solution for you. Let me close this cabinet right here. But you do have a pantry here or closet. There's a rod in here, so you can use it for whatever you want. You can keep delicious snacks back here or take the shelves out. They are adjustable and you can use this as hanging space. Now behind the cabinet, I just closed. More USB ports. You do have 110 in here as well. and. Your camper van will come with this Thor Motor Coach black bag. Inside, all kinds of manuals and warranty guides. So make sure that you do read through that and become familiar with your coach, especially when you're getting into systems like uh, the Truman Eco Combi. Read the manual there, read the manual on Rapid Camp. This is just a quick touch on how those work, but a lot of great features in there. And one of the other great features I, I, I do love, and I showed you how the cassette toilet works, 
this wet bath. At first, you, you know, you're thinking, what am I, boy, this is going to be tiny. What am I going to do in here? Well, one, it's a, it's a bathroom, so you know what you're going to do in here. But look how well this is decked out. And you have this medicine cabinet, holds everything you need it. You have uh, the, the sink here. You have the flip down tray. You also have the shower miser in here and so that is going to be another great feature for you to have so you're not wasting hot water because you are limited on what your fresh tank can hold so what's going to happen here is there is a blue disc in here and a little handle so you turn the handle and then you turn on the hot water and as the hot water flows into the shower it's not going to be coming out the shower head it is going to just recirculate into the little blue disc turns whitish and then you know the water's hot and then you turn the metal knob and then suddenly that hot water flow, so you're not really going to be wasting any of your fresh water. It's going to save fresh water for you. It's super easy to use. You're going to love having the shower miser. Uh, down below, you do have, a, I, I want to talk a little more about this. Well, here we go. You know what? We get, we're showing you this. So let's talk about this. There's a couple of rods in here that you can take and turn that into a closet if you need. There are two hanging racks. So you're going to have a lot of hanging space in here. Or if you're out adventuring and you hang your wetsuit in, you can turn on this fan and really take the humidity out. Uh, real quick on this toilet, I do want to talk about, because we talked about it being a cassette toilet. There's a little blue button on the wall that's going to put water into the bowl, and there's a two-position handle on the bottom of the toilet. So press the blue button, put a little water in there. You're going to do what you got to do, and then you go ahead and you move the handle to the other side. That will go into the cassette toilet, and you hold the blue button down again, and then all your water will go down and flush the toilet. And we just talked a little bit about uh, emptying your cassette toilet. So that is going, you have a shower curtain in here as well. You can see back there. So everything you could want for in a bathroom in a van. Amazing, isn't it? Now, the other thing we haven't talked about yet, because we've talked about all the great features outside. We've shown you a lot of the great features inside from the, the residential vinyl floor that is going to be extra durable it's going to hold up if you travel with pets you're going to take them out to the beach for the day no problems here the driving experience on this is amazing oh i did talk about see it right back here behind the driver's seat uh, the pedestal table leg and we talked about the ladder that is right here we showed you the the ladder for the outside that stores behind the driver's seat so that's where that is told you I was going to show you. I'm going to hop in the driver's seat here because this is such a great driving experience and Ford really did it up right this time. You also have remote start. You have a little a little uh, fob. I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. I hope you don't mind. Now we're going to get, uh, hopefully it won't beep too long because we do have the back doors open and the side doors open, but I do want to go over all of the great features in here because this is an amazing driving machine. I love driving these transits. I really do. I love the stability of the all-wheel drive. I love knowing that I have traction wherever I need it without thinking about it, without having to shift on the fly. It's just always there. And the safety features in here, unbelievable. So, you know, we talked about uh, your mirrors come in. The, the, the switch is right over here. You just press the how you adjust your mirrors down and you can see the mirrors will go right in. You have auto headlights on this as well so you can keep those on auto when it gets dark. The sensor up in here will take and turn your headlights on. You do have auto engine start. What that does is that kills the engine when you're at a stoplight or you're, you're in construction to, to help the environment. Some people love that feature, some people despise it. So whatever you like, you can go ahead and turn it on or turn it off and it will remember the setting from the last time you drove it. Uh, you have an electronic parking brake in here, an e-brake, so you just go ahead and you pull that and your parking brake will be set so you don't have the big clunky handle over here. Electronic parking brake. The spotlight button is here for the spotlight up top. Next to that is your emergency start. This is another great feature. So in the event you would kill your chassis battery, all you have to do is hit emergency start. That's gonna draw power from your house batteries. You turn the key, the juice is gonna flow right up to your chassis battery and you are gonna start right up, no questions asked. So when it comes to safety features, Ford packed a lot into here. So let me make sure that uh, I have everything cleared out. I'm just gonna go through this dash real quick for you. Um, as we walk through some of the safety features, they, I mean, everything you could think of from a, a safety feature in here. You have lane keeping, uh, let me go, you have Bluetooth, 
You have navigation in here. Here we go, driver's assist functions. As we walk through here, you have traction control. You have blind spot warnings. You have pre-collision assist. You have speed sign recognition, one of my favorites. So when you're driving in new towns, it will show you the speed of the road that you're on so you don't have to second guess yourself. Uh, the lane keeping system we talked about, if you get tired, you happen to drift, you go over, you're gonna get a warning. Uh, a driver alert, that's so if you get drowsy, this is gonna know you're a little sleepy, let's pull over, you got a place to sleep, go catch some quality Z's, and then we can get back out on the road. And you can go ahead and turn all of these on or off. Cross traffic alert, that is going to be great when you are at an intersection. This actually helps you make left-hand turns. It's gonna use the cameras, it's gonna use the sensors. If somebody is crossing the path you don't see, you're gonna get a warning through cross traffic alert. And you do have cruise control. Uh, this one I'm in right now does have the adaptive cruise control, which is really a great feature. Once you get used to it, you can go ahead and set that and it'll keep speed with the traffic. Uh, all Bluetooth, you have your windshield wipers, your lights, you have a 10 speed transmission uh, compared to the seven in the Mercedes. Uh, you also have manual shifting on here. If you put it to M, then you have a plus and a minus and you can go ahead and change the gears manually as well. Let's talk Sync 4. Sync 4, can you believe it? 12 inch screen, this is amazing because every feature you could ever want on here, you're gonna get Sirius XM uh, with 360L. That really just takes and pulls in some of the podcasts and audiobooks and a lot of other features from Sirius XM satellite radio. Uh, you have Apple CarPlay, you have Android Auto, and depending on the version of your phone, it will connect wirelessly. I have Android 10, and it connected up just like that. You have to go through your phone and, and, and set it up, but it connected wirelessly for you, so a great system to have there. Now, all of your climate controls are gonna be touch control this year, so you don't have the dials out there. The only dial you have is for your volume. Uh, you have a button here to switch through your modes because you can choose a number of different driving modes from normal to eco. You can choose slippery, tow haul, and mud and ruts, and you get a beautiful little graphic on the display. I like, uh, I like that graphic. It's pretty neat. You can turn on uh, max climate here. If you want to pull up that 360 camera at any point, there's a little camera button. You just press that and that will pull up to give you a view of your surroundings. I absolutely love this feature. It makes getting into tight spots so, so easy. And then over here, there is the letter P with two lines and it's for parking. So if you're in a new town and you need a place to park and you have no idea where to go, you hit the park button it's gonna show you all of the local places. Back up to the screen, climate control. Uh, you can choose low from high, you have auto. Um, you can choose your defroster, air conditioning, uh, plus or minus how fast you want that fan to go. We're gonna go ahead and turn that off. You go home, you have local radio. You can go into uh, different drive modes, your owner's manual, uh, a number of different settings is here as well from your phone list. Uh, you can adjust the display once you link your phone up, hands-free calls, uh, SiriusXM travel link, mobile apps. It's packed. This is fully loaded. It's a great driving experience. You have plenty of storage. You have storage up above for sunglasses or hats. Uh, you have USB-C. You have a 12-volt up here. More cup holders than you can count drinks. Maybe you can put a coffee here or water there. If you have a favorite energy drink, you can go ahead and put that there. It's really a great, neat way to travel that will take you anywhere you want to go. It is just an absolutely beautiful van. Look at that. It's the Tranquility all-wheel drive camper van. I love this thing. You're gonna love traveling in it. I would love to take a journey in this. Maybe you will beat me to it. If you'd like more information, really easy to find. ThorMotorCoach.com, all the information you need on the 19 PT. I appreciate you being with us today. Keep it right here on your favorite Thermal Coach social media channel, and we will see you next time. If you would like to see sales prices from the only full line and fully authorized Thor Motor Coach dealership in the world, visit Motorhome Specialist at MHSRV.com or call 800-335-6054.
Motorhome Specialist is the number one volume selling motorhome dealership in the world. With over $165 million in inventory to choose from, all at one central location, making it easy to fly in from anywhere in the country and then drive your new dream motor coach home. You will also enjoy the premier delivery process that can only be found at MHSRV. From the extensive pre-check and make ready process to the only dealership performed and fully automated rain booth test in the industry, you'll see a world of difference at Motorhome Specialist. These additional detail and inspection processes are just a few of the countless steps taken here at Motorhome Specialist to help ensure that you not only receive a better selection and price, but also the unparalleled quality and service that you deserve to go along with it. So get busy living in an all new Thor Motor Coach from Motorhome Specialist today. Why pay more? Why settle for less?